The twins Zoe and Mia Anderson had no idea what to expect and they chose to undergo a fun DNA test to find out more about their family history, the doctor yelled at them to hire legal counsel as soon as he saw the results, Zoe and Mia, twins, were sitting in their living room for their graduation celebration at that very moment, surrounded by their family. The twins were getting ready to take their next step into the big, wide world, and the room was filled with excitement and love. Subsequently, their mother approached the two and gave them an envelope that they had gotten in the mail, that was it, only a few months previously, the girls had contributed their DNA as a harmless joke, they wanted to have some fun with the family by sharing what they discovered about their ancestry, all eyes watched in fascination as they opened the envelope, they had no idea how strange the outcome would be. The twins laughed at the many nations that were showing up as they each examined their own results independently, but, Zoe paused and checked the findings for her twin sister after Mia brought up one that she didn't have, that's when she noticed something quite shocking, Zoe took her sister's results out of her hand and started comparing the two pages right away, then she turned to face her parents. Asking them if they were attempting to pull some horrible joke, the room instantly fell silent. To a whisper, everyone was surprised by Zoe's abrupt eruption, what might be the issue, it was the first time they had heard her refer to her parents in that manner, Mia intervened and inquired about the nature of the issue, Zoe quickly demonstrated to her sister that the results were inconsistent, it was impossible what she had read, but Mia's response was completely different from her sister's. Mia only chuckled and looked at her mother's face to ensure that it was all a joke. As opposed to snapping like Zoe did, she must have tampered with the mail while they were preoccupied with the graduation ceremony because she had been the one to deliver it to them, her heart, however, started to race in her chest when her parents responded with equal confusion, Zoe was furious, she demanded to know who was making fun of them by turning the room around, she proceeded to explain when everyone merely returned her grave gaze. She explained to everyone how the results didn't add up, indicating that she and Mia weren't even biologically related, much less twins, the heavy silence that had descended on the room abruptly broke with these words, confused, everyone was talking over each other, the sound of Mia's father's voice broke through the din, that's not possible, he said, you two were delivered, I witnessed, I personally picked you two up from the nursery, both of you are my daughters. The sample you supplied them must have had a problem, after Zoe made this statement, Mia became more composed, their father was explaining things, there was no need to draw any strange inferences at this point, they had spent every other moment of their lives together, including in their mother's womb, so it goes without saying that they were sisters, it had been a mistake by someone. They decided to file a complaint by calling the ancestry tracing firm on Monday morning and that was the end of it, after that, the graduation ceremony went on with much happiness and celebration, except for the twins, everyone seemed to have forgotten the strange discoveries made earlier that evening, on an individual basis, they were both replaying the scenario in their heads. But they were obviously trying not to show their worry to anyone else, particularly not to each other. But that was only partially successful, that night, as she lay in bed, Mia couldn't get rid of the uneasy sensation she had, she needed to find out why something wasn't right, what were the possibilities that a globally recognized corporation would do such a terrible error, silently rising, she tiptoed down the hallway to her sister's room, she slipped into the room, assuming Zoe was still asleep, as expected, her sister was seated on her bed and was extremely uneasy, they could tell one other's thoughts just by glancing at each other's faces, they were not going to let this pass them by, they both sensed that something wasn't quite right and that they needed to address it, a portion of them, meanwhile, wasn't even convinced they could rely on their parents, what if they had been involved in a criminal enterprise, what would happen if one of them was taken by their father from the nursery, in the middle of the plot. Zoe interrupted Mia and reminded her that their mother had been expecting twins, how could this be, because they had seen the scanned pictures numerous times in their baby book over the years, what in the world was happening, thankfully, they didn't need their parents' permission to visit the doctor because they were 18 years old, by simply going to their family doctor and requesting him to test their DNA, they planned to finally put an end to the dispute. The girls being alone shocked Dr. Peter, but he welcomed them as he had many times in the past, but when they related the tale of their DNA test to him, his demeanor lightened with amusement, though he thought they were pulling a practical joke on him, he swiftly saw that the girls' emotions had remained the same, after obtaining the girls' paperwork, 
he inquired about the girl's parents' comments, after that, he took their hospital-issued pictures and birth certificates. Even while everything appeared legal and proper, he couldn't help but notice the girl's nervousness, in an effort to ease their pain, he promised to end their suffering, he would quiet their fears by running a quick DNA test and showing them the findings, there had to have been an error, he was certain of it, however, the doctor's attitude changed from delighted to distressed when the girls returned two days later to review the results, he seemed really worried. So it was clear the girls were correct, genomic DNA was incompatible, sitting across from the doctor, Mia and Zoe trembled with anxiety, how was this all significant, what on earth were they to do at this point, their whole lives had been deceitful, they had been led astray their entire lives, how could they ever know who they really were, after taking a quick glance at them. Dr. Peter advised them to get legal representation without delay, since they would undoubtedly require it. Zoe therefore made many phone calls in an effort to locate a family lawyer with experience in this area, Michael, a respected attorney who has handled numerous cases involving misplaced and abducted children, was soon located by her, he was determined to solve the riddle, naturally, the parents of the girls were the first to be interviewed, the kid's father initially resisted the lawyer's requests for information. But eventually gave in because he knew the lawyer was only trying to help the girls. Even though he tried his best to be forthright and honest, he found out that his girls might not be his biological children, Michael determined that the parents were equally unaware as the girls after conducting thorough interviews with them, he suggested that the parents and daughters do another DNA test to check for any possible overlap. This was the most helpful piece of advice they had received up to this point since it would explain everything. The Anderson family quickly ordered additional testing, and what they learned was absolutely terrifying, Zoe's DNA was shared by both her parents, however, Mia didn't, not in the slightest, Michael made his first prediction right here, he was certain that Mia had been given to the incorrect parents after being taken from the hospital, the parents were obviously furious, how on earth could this have occurred? I thought Mia was their daughter, although she and Zoe were not identical twins. They shared the same appearance as their mother's daughters, had they all spent 18 years blind, the family was in a really difficult circumstance, but Michael did not flinch, he was certain he could track the whole matter down to the hospital where they were born if it turned out that Mia was not biologically connected to them, it came as no surprise that the hospital was very reluctant, even with their mother's approval. They would not release any files from the year the girls were born. Under the pretense of defending the hospital's rights, they attempted to hide, Michael then went directly to the courts and requested a subpoena for the documents, this move then started an avalanche of unanticipated consequences that no one was ready for, which was something no one had predicted, reluctantly, the hospital gave the girls records and those of any other newborn born there around the same time. The Anderson family eagerly awaited word on whether anything valuable was contained in the files, they could tell Michael had discovered something when they saw his eyebrows lift, presenting two papers to the family, he brought attention to a fascinating detail, two sets of African-American twins had been born that same weekend, and all four of the newborns had been females. What were the chances that the hospital had exchanged the newborns due to a serious administrative error or other negligent action, for Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, this was all too much, they were appalled by the thought that they had participated in the kidnapping of someone else's child, it was just too horrible, both for that and the fact that someone had left with their biological kin, but Zoe and Mia were powerful. They had vowed to be together no matter what came out of the investigation since they loved each other so much, as soon as they opened the other twins' dossier, they were overcome with a strong urge to meet them, Michael was happy to oblige and encouraged the females to get together the next day at the hospital, they had faith that everything would work out fine, they were so close that even after years of friendship, it would have been difficult for any of them to break the ice, unsurprisingly. Kayla and Tasha were oblivious to their purpose for being there, their parents had informed them that they would be meeting up with old friends, but the moment they laid eyes on Mia and Zoe, something told them this wasn't true, similarly to how Zoe felt an immediate pull toward Kayla, Mia was captivated by Tasha, something completely irrational and nearly animalistic was going on, in a state of convulsions. The parents of the twin pairs observed, what had transpired, how were they oblivious? Without delay, Michael had additional blood tests done on all members of both families, 
in order to determine the nature of the relationships, these were compared, the fact that Mia and Tasha were twins, as well as Zoe and Kayla, was made very evident, with these hard facts in hand, the two families banded together to look into the facility, the flagrant disregard for their well-being that they had just encountered would not be tolerated. After Michael got to work gathering information from his trusted sources, he discovered nothing more than relaxation, Mrs. Anderson received a call from Michael early Monday morning, requesting that they appear in a courtroom downtown for an appeal, as expected, they complied and descended, they were met with a terrifying reality, though, upon arrival, the courtroom was teeming with African-American families, each with children of varied ages, the Anderson family, perplexed. Rushed forward in search of Michael, as soon as they did, he revealed the hideous reality of their situation, there were plenty of other families in the room who could relate to the Anderson family's story, they, too, had been handed the incorrect baby to take home 20 years ago, Mia and Zoe were taken aback by what they saw, even if they weren't alone in facing such a horrific truth, it offered them no solace, on the contrary, they were extremely agitated. Can you imagine if they had omitted the DNA test, without seeking out their own truth, none of those people would have ever found it, how on earth is this even possible, how did this illustrious medical facility manage to avoid consequences for their carelessness, as it happens, their initial understanding of the situation was incomplete. Michael and numerous other family lawyers challenged the hospital in court on their conclusions. They were committed to holding the facility to a high standard, they had destroyed generations of families, in other words, neither the Anderson family nor any other family would be the same, even while Mia and Zoe still had affection for their parents, the harm had already been done, however, Mia shared her genetic makeup with a completely different pair of parents, even though her mannerisms didn't like anyone in their family. Would they be accepted? Could they tell her anything about her great-grandparents, what they did, how her eye color came about, she, along with all the other missing children, found this to be completely unfamiliar, interviews with medical personnel from more than 10 years of the crime's occurrence were thorough, the hospital went so far as to want to expose the offender since they didn't want to be associated with this terrible issue. It would be a lot simpler to just place the responsibility elsewhere. Months passed during the trial, the twins continued their education at the same university as Kayla and Tasha throughout this time, they made the decision to share a bunk together so they could get to know one another away from the drama, their world had been shattered, and all they wanted was to go on and figure out who they were, the legal struggle was becoming too much for them, they were then summoned back to court one day. And their parents insisted that they go so they could finally have some closure, it was thought that they had identified the offender, the one person who was totally accountable for all the suffering the family had gone through. The twins noticed a middle-aged woman sitting on the stand as soon as they walked into the courtroom, her facial scar said it all, this was one miserable woman with an obviously cruel heart, she opened her ugly lips and spilled the truth when questioned, she spoke into great length about how much she hated African Americans, how she had taken care of the infants in the nurseries, and how her hatred had only come out when they wailed. When the mothers had complained of agony, she had just given them fake prescriptions and laughed at them, if anyone had ever seen a horror nurse, this one was it, it was obvious that she was psychologically unstable, she explained, laughing like a hyena, how she had deliberately switched every African-American infant out for another whenever she had the opportunity, thinking that this was the most evil plot she had ever come up with, she mocked the courtroom audience. Calling them stupid for taking so long to realize that their children were not really their own, the judge immediately ended the nurse's questioning and asked silence, mothers were crying and fathers were yelling at the injustice their children had experienced, thus the crowd was very upset. The nurse's admission surprised the Anderson family, Mia and Zoe couldn't understand such hatred, why would an adult woman disrespect her babies? They treated her how? They originally disliked her but quickly forgave her, one cannot dislike such a cruel woman, being dreadful was enough, she didn't need anyone to tell her, in addition, she remained emotionally secluded until Michael and his crew arrived, she would spend a long period in prison doing that, news broke like never before. Mia and Zoe's narrative spurred a pivotal investigation, and reporters highlighted it immediately, even though their mother continuously reminded them of their excellent deeds. 
The girls avoided being the center of attention whenever possible, she also stressed that their family ties will never alter, this horrific tragedy taught them that family is more than biology, Mia and Zoe are sisters and their parents are guardians, regardless of DNA results, why modify something that worked for so long, legal age allowed them to legally find and meet their long-lost relatives, which was a big relief. In the end, they built a bigger family. The girls thanked Michael and Dr. Peter for their assistance, following these two guys' guidance, they validated their intuition, which they had been told to ignore, in addition to solving the family puzzle, they corrected a long-standing wrong, after watching the story above. Do you have any thoughts, feel free to share your opinions in the comments section, if you enjoyed our video, please like, subscribe, and share our channel. That all about today's stories, see you next time.